Well, hello, hello, hello. Uh, this is Brother West. This is uh, your brother, your friend, um, Prophet West, coming back to you. I'm on a kind of a road, a kind of a road in a way where God has specifically allowed me to see certain things and specifically talk about certain things that people don't want to talk about. Those are the things that God wants to talk about. Those are the things that God wants to ho highlight in your life. If you notice that everything in your life, it feels like it's coming up. It feels like it's out of control. It feels like it's being challenged. It's because it is. The reason why it's not the devil is God. God is causing and bringing things to come up in your life that you can see it, deal with it, and allow God to work it, work it out, to deliver you from it. And so with anything, with alcoholic or whatever kind of addiction it is, a person's deliverance starts when they realize and they say it's me, I have a problem. I have a situation. I have a condition. I, I got the problem. It's not the other person, but it's me that they got the problem. And so this is where many of you are at. You got a problem. And uh, one of the problems that I want to talk about, it's almost like a trigger. And the title of it is the, the message is the damsels in distress. Damsels in distress. It could be a man. It could be a woman, but it could be a man. And it's, it's, it's kind of a, a situation where God has taught me wisdom from it through myself. I've been a victim of always being attracted to the damsel in distress. And the reason why, I guess, I was always attracted to the, to the woman that had an issue, the daddy issue that needed help, that needed someone in their life to position and become a certain void. And because... I became that in so many relationships. At the end of that relationship, I was empty because I was trying to fill a place. I was trying to become something to a young lady, which wasn't my position. It was only God's position, but I tried to become God. And I beca tried to become that place, that point, that poison, that person, that figure, um, that supply. That person will always be there. And then what happened in the end, in the end, I was left empty because I was given everything that I had, but in return, the other person or the other people didn't have nothing to give because it wasn't for them to give because I did things my way and I didn't do it God's way, but I did it my way. It blew up in my face. And so this is many of you, many of you women you're like this, and men, you're always attracted to the person that needs help, that needs deliverance, that needs fixing, that needs change. And you're attracted to that because you want to feel, you want to become that to them at the expense of them not becoming anything for you. Men of your ladies, you're like that. You, you want a relationship, you have this idea of what you want, and you try to make a relationship You'll buy this, you'll buy that for this man. They do this, do that. Not knowing that you're crippling them. You're not allowing them to become a man because you're doing everything for them. As opposed to allowing God to send a man, you've decided to look for one yourself. When the Bible said, when a man finds a wife, he finds a good thing. You know, and so, and that's the problem. And so now many of you, you're in a situation where it's the same. In a relationship, you have to be careful how you start that relationship. Because how you just start that relationship, it's going to be that way throughout the relationship. That's the foundation. If you're in a relationship and you're trying to, you're giving, you're giving, you're giving, and the other person is taking, 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 and never giving, that's how that relationship is going to always be, unless God intervenes. And so many of you, you're giving out because you've given, you've given, you've given, you've given to win this man over. You've given, you've given to win this woman over. And so now that you got them, you, you'd impress them. And so now you want to become yourself. And just show them yourself. Well, you showed them someone else. You showed them someone who will rescue you, uh, who will rescue them. You showed them someone that's gonna always be there, when it wasn't your position to be there at all, or to be the one that rescued them. It was God's place. God is the only Savior. God is the only Lord. And that's the same thing and the, and the painful thing that I had to find out. There's only one Savior, and there's only one Lord. It's just like seeing someone drowning in, in a pool and you getting there to try to save them. 
And the dangerous thing is about it, you have to be careful when someone is about to drown. You have to be careful to protect yourself because if you're not careful, they'll drown you too. Because once you jump in the water trying to get them, they're going to grab your head. They're going to grab everything they can to, to survive. And so what happened, what's happened is that the people that you got a relationship with, they're pulling you down because they're trying to survive. All they can see is themselves. They're selfish. They're self-centered. And you perpetuated their particular mindset and you perpetuated their particular appetite because you enab enabled them. You've given them what they you've given them what they wanted as opposed to becoming what they need. And what they needed was Jesus. You should have just gave them Jesus and stepped back. But you gave them Jesus and you kept on. And they looked at you as the Savior instead of Jesus. And when the relationship failed, it failed because of flesh was the flesh was the foundation instead of putting God there instead of putting Jesus there and so the damsel in the stress it could be a man or woman when you go into a relationship and you become Lord you become everything and are not allowing God to become Lord and not allowing God to become everything and in the end unfortunately it ended because God wasn't the source he wasn't the foundation do not let this be you, please. If you're suffering right now, this is why God wasn't the one. He wasn't first. He wasn't the one that was doing everything. But because you got in the way and you and you tried to save them, you lost them. That's the problem. God bless you.